وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول a questioner asked, can you break down a way for us to work towards achieving forbearance and good manners, not only towards our parents, but also towards our siblings? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih, nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. This is a very comprehensive question and uh, an excellent question. Working towards achieving al-hilm and achieving good manners uh, towards parents and siblings is something which is a lifelong effort, really. It's something which you have to continuously work at. It's not something which comes necessarily easily or necessarily comes after the first try. There is a narration which mentions that hilm, innam al hilmu bitahallum, that hilm or forbearance. And forbearance is not being quick to take retribution, not being quick to you know, have a go back at somebody, not being quick to, uh, to sort of seek revenge or to reply or to respond to somebody. It comes from a tahallum, it comes from practicing it. It comes from imagining yourself to be like that and trying to implement it day after day and week after week, and sometimes falling short. In terms of good manners towards our parents and our siblings, I think the first thing is to realize their status, to appreciate their status. I think when we understand, and perhaps if you go over the Muslim family course, inshallah, you would see the status of the parents, the close relatives, the siblings, and so on. And knowing that status, and knowing the reward of keeping ties with them and knowing the punishment of the one who breaks the ties with them, that is something which is a big motivator to keep those good manners going. But ultimately, it does require a change in mindset. It requires a person to not to have that mindset of excuses of that, oh, I can't because they're not nice to me or they're not, it's been difficult for me, but to actually say, no, this is my duty to Allah. It's not about them as people. It's not the fact that they are treating me well or not treating me well, but it, this is about me and Allah. And it starts with correcting the relationship between you and Allah. Sufyan ibn Uyayna. Rahimullah ta'ala, he said, كان العلماء فيما مضى يكتبون بعضهم إلى بعض هؤلاء الكلمات. And among the things that the ulama, the scholars, they used to write to one another is من أصلح ما بينه وبين الله أصلح الله ما بينه وبين الناس. Whoever corrects what's between them and Allah, Allah will correct what is between them and the people. So correcting what's between you and Allah, changing the mindset and constantly trying to respond in the way that is better. وَلَا تَسْتَوِ الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيِّئَةِ إِذَا فَعَبِّلَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنَ Respond in the way that is better. And trying to achieve the moral high ground, trying to be the one that always responds in the way that is better. And taking yourself to account when you don't, when you fall short, saying, seeking forgiveness from Allah and then seeking forgiveness from them and then trying again and keep on training yourself change that mindset, see yourself as being a person who can be forbearing, who can have the best of manners, learn and learn and learn and learn. And every time you learn something about this, try your best to put it into practice. I think that is the kind of cycle and the kind of process uh, through which you'd be able to do that. Uh, it is a comprehensive question and that is what Allah made easy for me to mention and Allah knows best. Wassalatu wassalamu ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. If you have any questions you'd like to see answered as part of this series, then you can email us at questions at amau.org.